one C, skincare. You know what it's all about. We know the importance of it. Uh, the one thing that I think I should uh, really, I didn't get into in the beginning of this, is when I talked about uh, this manual being uh, a focus for consumers and, and people around them, it's also a very, very important tool for the caregivers, the people that are on the front lines that are dealing with the person for attending care all the time. And that's really what, what brought us together with our friends at Bayshore. Bayshore understood that, and Bayshore still understands that. Now, that's what was the exciting <coughs> partnership that we had. I mean, this manual, we wanted to get it out there, and they came to us, and they said, this is a great teaching tool, and we have people in the community that we want to make sure that they know this stuff. And I, and I, I think that's so much important, because as a consumer, having an attendant and having someone that gets it is so much better. And if it comes down to things like issues of skin care, you need someone that can spot that red spot. They're seeing the beginnings of a pressure sore. Now, we know that there's a tenant care out there that, quite frankly, wouldn't care or wouldn't do anything about it. But the effects of a skin breakdown, again, everybody here knows that, but does the community know that? Or does the newly injured person really understand that until they had to spend six months on a banana cart and still have to have a skin graph of that problem? So that's what's exciting about this, is that this manual was, was in our partnership with Bayshore, was a great opportunity that across this country we can have the opportunity to have a resource in the community that, that helps those people on the front lines help people that need the help. And I think of skincare as probably one of the best examples because there's so many things that go into it, and, and which includes even your seating and how you're sitting and the, the right cushion you're on, the right the kind of clothes you're wearing. We try to flesh those out a little bit, again, not exhaustive, and the resources are there to refer to inside the manual. One of the, the, the interesting things about medical science and health and all that good stuff as it's developed over the years, it, it helps us people with chairs too. And I always think, uh, you know, back when I had my injury 20 years ago, there wasn't a little, little blue pill. <laughs> and now there is, hooray. And so uh, what we do is we also uh, get into that part of it and talk about um, things like sexual health and, and you know, fer fertilization and what's going on and the opportunities that are up there. The benefit in our society as a whole can really help people with spinal cord injuries as well. And we touch on that. Again, making sure that people realize, not that they don't hear it here as well, many of those opportunities are out there that they can still get on and family plan and do the things they want to do in their life. Just with a little bit more help. We do a general overview of health and wellness. I don't think you can say that enough that for some reason uh, people forget that they're human beings sometimes and that uh, they can just do things differently. Well, unfortunately, it's almost the other way around. You can do things differently, but you're, you're more susceptible to health problems if you don't keep an eye on things like obesity, your diet, your, your exercise, things like that. Very important, very important for a person that has a spinal cord injury and we try to reaffirm that and, and, and discuss that in the manual as well. Again, exercise. You know, it's all changed now. I can't go out and run the 5K I used to. So how do I get around that? How do I get the cardio back up? How do I do things like that? Well, again, in the resource manual, we talk about the different opportunities there are for people with spinal cord injuries and some of the you know, wheelchair sports that are available, which is great because now it's growing and growing all the time. And, and it's quite exciting. And you know, although, although it might not be a local type of uh, initiative, we try to address the national organizations where people can get more information and they can get more involved on a local level if they're looking at team sports. But again, there's not much you need to do really, and I look at my physios in the room here, of even just doing a simple gym, how you can adapt it enough for a person to do things. Or going out for a long wheel. <laughs> If you can do that, it's great. If, if you don't have the ability to push a manual chair, there are other things that you can do as well. All of these things are important for the general health of an individual. We also wanted to talk about things like financial planning. It's probably more important for people like ourselves that have sustained a spinal cord injury. You know, but for the large motor vehicle settlement, which may or may not be large enough, as we all know, uh, many of us face a life of, dis of uh, unemployment and living with issues of poverty. 
Now, and I go back, or you did receive a settlement of sorts, and there's all this money there. How do I work with it? And how do I control my family members around it? Uh, in my field, uh, as, a, as a partner at Aylesworth, uh, we do a lot of personal, we do all personal injury <coughs> work. And that's the part that troubles me the most sometimes is the, the over-interested family member uh, that wants to kind of keep an eye on the finances as the litigation proceeds. So sometimes it's out of love, sometimes it's not. And it's important that we do that. But again, this is about empowerment. This is about self-advocacy. And you just can't say here, be my power of attorney, sign here. People got to take an interest in what they do. They got to become the adult that they were en route to becoming, but for a spinal cord injury, you know, at that average age of 19, you know. Now they got to deal with it that way and take care of their future. I'm saying self advocacy. Well, I keep going there. Uh, we try to make it as a theme in this manual that it's all about self advocacy because I think the more information somebody has, the more rights they're aware of, the things that they can do, uh, they should be that voice. The more voices out there, the more things get done. I, I, I look forward to the day where the Ontario Disabilities Act actually has teeth. But 20 years ago, there wasn't even an act. So, you know, that's the moderate Barry talking right now. The other one is, damn it, it sucks. <laughs> you know, we got to get better at it because it's only going to be beneficial for the rest of society as well. We're, I mean, we're trailblazers because we all know that we have an aging population. We all know, I mean, what's the, I'm not the, most, the, the best on political correctness, but what is it now? We're all really temporarily able. Is that the <laughs> phrase we use? So that at some point, there'll be people in this room that be looking for a new hip and a scooter, right? So why not have more barrier-free design? Why not have wider doorways? Things like that. And that's what we, uh, we like to help get people thinking about in the manual. I talked about attendant management. Uh, again, uh, it's there's we do take a page a little bit out of the uh, independent living and talk about the importance. I mean, you have to realize it's in some, for many of us that could be the most important part of our lives. It's the closest thing that we have to independence is a dependency on someone else that can do the job without you know burning out your family and friends. And that self care and that management, the attendant care, is very important. Again, I can't speak a, uh, enough about uh, how great it's been to work with Bayshore and how they get it. They get it. And they realize that there's a partnership between the person that's injured, the family, and the person providing the services. All of those things have a play in making sure and maximizing the opportunity for somebody to get out the door every morning and come back home and, and live a life. And that's important. So we try to address that as well in the manual. <coughs>